Hello and welcome to Twerton Park, Bath City's FA Cup third qualifying round fixture up against Hemel Hempstead Town today. On the back of a 6-0 win in the last round up against Natville, City will fancy their chances but Hemel instead needed a replay up against Wingate and Finchley last time around but will be eager to get their first Twerton Park win up against City. Goals surely the minimum expectation for Jim Rollo for City today. Jim Rollo still in caretaker charge here at City, supposedly not interested in the job long term, but he will continue to oversee them and has been successful enough so far. Defensively as well, City impressive recently, only two goals shipped in their last five games, so hoping to hold back that strike force with Rowan Lybird mentioned, Charlie Sheringham and Ogo Obi looks to be playing up top for them as well. City will kick this match off with Kevin Amankwa spreading it wide towards McCutie and now left for Compton. Into the final third and on the wing here with Compton. Played back towards Straker. City keeping possession at the moment and keeping it on the ground. Nick McCutie, a poor touch and in the end has to put a foot in on James Kolochi, so an early free kick to him. This is going to be Case played out wide towards Amankwa now. City getting out of their own half with Watkins still on the right hand side here. Seems like a more permanent switch over that side and now looking for McCutey. Can drive past one, looking to get a low ball into the centre. Jarvis trying to get on the end of it, but just cleared away. Free kick for Jordan Park to take. Deep into the box, headed in and just about caught by Southwood. It was Kolochi who's returned to the pitch now. It's going to be Compton played across towards the right. A superb left-footed one towards Andy Watkins. He takes it down perfectly, skips past one, tries the shot from range. And it goes just past Laurie Walker's post. No. Back towards Ryan Case. It's swept by Case. And City players all seem to be on the same wavelength at the moment as Compton gets it on this left-hand side. Tries to dart past his defender. He'll get the cross in towards the back post. It's Mankar arriving and his touch. Really coming into this edge of the six-yard box and getting on the half volley there. You think either with a cross or a shot, perhaps Mankar could have done better there. Now on towards Jack Compton on that left-hand side. And back in towards Ryan Case. Passes that out towards Compton again. Compton trying to drive inside. This time McCutie can try to control it and pass it back out towards the left with Straker. Looking to get the cross in from this left-hand side. And there's the header. And into the back of the net is the captain of Frankie Artis. One nil to City and they've just about deserved it. Really picking up momentum now. And Artis gets his first goal for a fair while. And City, you'd have to say, you might just have deserved that. Wonderful ball, wonderful header, fabulous stuff. So far into the corner from Artis. Straker as well to buy him time to get in there. And it's well deserved from City. They've really been growing into it the last couple of minutes. But Straker is superb cross from that left hand side. You can perhaps tell he used to be a winger. It's a peach of a cross as he manages to pick out Artis there. Make Hatton here. Hatton looking for Amaluza now, and Amaluza into the centre with Lybird. He gets the shot away, and it's a fingertip save from Southwood. And just outside the box, it's such an impressive effort from the Hemel man, but eventually pushed just wide by Southwood. First time he's really shown why he's got a pretty reasonable goal-scoring record so far this season, Lybird. Unable to carry it out, and so Amaluza will still have a chance here for the opponents. Played in towards Lybird, the header loops over the top of Southwood. Luckily, just over the bar for City as well. Compton will play this one towards the edge of the box there, and Straker trying to set him up off with a shot, but skips past one, dribbles past another, and now Jarvis was sliding in just in front of the goalkeeper. Couldn't get a confident touch on it, and in the end, collected into the hands of Laurie Walker. And at six foot three, he'll be challenging for this one. It's gone past everyone, in towards the back post, and eventually the shot from Ogo Obi, wayward and flies well over Luke Southwood's bar, but really Cleared away by Hatton, but Jarvis got the block in and he might manage to burst into the box with this one. The left-footed shot is very tame indeed. And it'll be Straker who manages to regain possession, keeps on the ground for City in the midfield. Compton looks up, considers the cross and then darts on, trying to get past Hatton. This time he'll cross it in towards Jarvis, just headed past the post. Really could have gone anywhere from Jarvis, but got into the right position and promising cross from Compton as we've always seen from him but eventually it goes far wide for City. Making a run, Parks is on this free kick and will instead take the shot towards Southwood and really very central into the centre of the goal. 
now. Watkins looking to keep it in the corner for a moment, but eventually Osborne will look to clear and eventually it will be blocked off by Manqua. Makuti will get there. Watkins in towards the centre and it's going to fall at the feet of Jack Compton and it could have gone anywhere, but it goes just wide of the post. It was Jarvis trying to get on the end of the cross and it fell very kindly indeed for Compton. In the end, the block shot goes just wide. But now Makuti will rise and it will be Jarvis who gets it on his feet again. And this time Watkins nips in on the right-hand side. Not makes the defender and tries to get a low cross inside. This is Makuti, just couldn't quite catch it. Jordan Parks with yet another corner this half and he puts it into the centre. And it could have fallen anywhere, just whizzed across the six-yard box. But really, I think it hit pretty much the ankle of Charlie Sheringham as he tries to force a shot in. But eventually out for nothing more than a City goal kick. Case. Case towards Artis, who can now look for Compton. The difference still just that Frankie Artis goal, but now it will be Compton into the box, a low cross this time, blocks off by the first man for a wash. And Matt Spring will look to get it cleared away for him. Magical feat there from Compton. You would. Case will get this one away. They'll drop to Ben Greenhold, the looping strike just past the post for Hemel. will look for Makuti down this right hand side he might just keep this one in he will and he dribbles into the box with it Makuti dangerous in towards Lucas and he simply had to score but he's put it wide and it is an absolutely shocking miss from Jamie Lucas just around eight yards out or so Hemel will want to get the ball forward they've left three men forward but it'll be Compton now instead trying to get past one it'll be Driver trying to challenge he'll force the feet of Compton strikes it falls to Watkins and that is it for Bath City they are going through to the fourth qualifying round it's Watkins who volleys it first time past the goalkeeper into the centre of the net it's 2-0 Bath City look to still Compton didn't even have to try there as he waltzes between defender after defender puts the ball across puts a little bit selfishly but it's fallen for Watkins off the rebound and puts it into the roof of the net a lot of players committed for there for Hamill. And really, City made the most of it. They've got the sort of players who can dart past a couple of players. And Compton manages to set up Watkins after the shot there. It's a simple volley into the centre of the net. He had a lot of time and space. And Watkins makes no mistake there. And Take a real miracle for Hamill to force even a replay here. It's going to be played in towards Jamie Lucas, setting himself up for a left footed shot. And it's gone past the keeper into the back of the net. Brilliant, brilliant from Jamie Lucas. He makes up for his miss just beforehand and that is from just outside the box on his unfavoured left foot but it goes right into the bottom corner, 3-0 City. Just look at Rollo, you, you can see how happy he is with that one. But here this is Esther of Rupp, leapt onto the field there. Lucas, a fabulous strike to cap off what has been a very satisfactory performance from Bath City. Jim Rollo is a caretaker manager, certainly impressing so far. He doesn't seem to want it long term but... Three games now, three clean sheets, nine goals we've seen for City, and what an FA Cup performance again. At least since that City was missed by Lucas, that more than makes up for it, really, with it being just outside the box. And there is the final whistle. What an end to this match for City. Two late, late goals. Three goals in stoppage time in total. It started at the end of the first half with Frankie Artis heading home after Anthony Streak across to put City 1-0 up. Nervy moments in the second half. We saw the likes of Rowan Lyberg in press for the opponents and really forced Luke Southwood into a few catches, a few decent saves. But right at the end, in stoppage time at the end of the second half, we see City turn it all around and manage to capitalise on the opportunities they have. A sit and miss from Lucas, quickly followed up by Jack Compton, darting into the box. His shot set up Andy Watkins and managed to volley past the keeper for 2 0. 3 0 came just minutes later with. Makuti passing a low ball through towards Lucas to finish off. So an impressive finish for that match for City.